Hey guys, I am Gautam and welcome to GKMix. So in this video, I will be talking about the after IIT Jam 2020, how you can choose the IITs, okay, how, sh how to number the IITs, okay, because from April 3rd to April 22, you have, you have to fill the application form and in that form, you have to choose different, different IITs. So I will let you know that how to do that, how to fill up the application form, okay, and in that application form, you just need to choose the first choice, second choice, third choice and so on. Okay, so you just have to choose the IITs that you uh, want to go for. Based on your rank, you will get the IITs. Okay, you will get the corresponding IITs. So whatever your rank is, the you just you, your for your first choice, what will be? Your, your first choice should be a top IIT site. Right? Your second choice should be the next top IITs like that. So I will be telling you my opinion that if I uh, I was a jam IIT jam candidate and when I was IIT jam candidate, I how I uh, feel the choices. Okay. So that would be very helpful because I, I will be telling you everything based on the research facility in the IITs, placement facilities after masters in the IITs. Okay, I will be telling you based on this. Okay, so I can, I, I just want to make this video quite simple. So without wasting time, let's uh, the, give the numbers. The first one will be IIT Bombay, first choice. Okay, so write it down. Okay, first will be IIT Bombay. The second will be IIT Kanpur. Okay, but one thing I can tell you that suppose you are from Delhi or you are from UP, so you don't, you don't want to go to uh, go to outside of your state, then you can choose your corresponding nearest IITs. But I will tell you that it it, it 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 if there is no problem, then you can go to easily go to outside of your state. Okay, and that uh, that would be better. You are you are you are you have already grown up, so that should not have any problem. Okay, so first choice would be IIT Bombay. The second choice would be IIT Kanpur. The third choice would be like IIT, uh, a lot of IITs are there, but uh, according to me, I will choose IIT Madras. Okay, because over there, the placement facilities are a lot. Okay, the fourth choice would be IIT Delhi. Okay, and you can in, uh, interchange IIT Delhi and IIT Madras. Okay, fifth choice would be IIT Kharagpur. And here, I am in IIT Kharagpur, so why I didn't choose IIT Kharagpur uh, in the first third or first second third like that? So it's, it doesn't matter. But if you are interested in placement, li listen carefully. If you are interested in placement, then go uh, come in IIT Kharagpur. If you are not uh, going to IIT Bombay or Kanpur, okay. So your third choice next to, uh, would be IIT Kharagpur because placement facilities for a master students is quite good over here. Okay. So third uh, fifth choice would be IIT Kharagpur. Sixth choice would be, would be IIT Roorkee. Okay, again, you can choose that if you want to, uh, don't want to go to outside of your state, then you can choose anything that you want. Okay, seventh choice would be IIT Guwahati. So these seven IITs, the old IITs. So these seven IITs, you, you need to choose like this way. And for the other IITs, okay, there are a lot of new IITs, okay, and a lot of very new IITs. Like the, for the other IITs, like, uh, because the IITs like uh, before 12 years, they are formed. Okay, they are founded. So, uh, like the eighth choice should be IIT Hyderabad. Okay, so IIT Hyderabad is one of the best IIT among the new IITs. Okay, in 2008-9 it started. Okay, all the new IITs started, and in 2020 also two three IITs uh, are started. Okay, so in IIT Hyderabad you just need to choose one. Okay, then ninth choice would be IIT Indore. Okay, so in IIT Hyderabad, what happens? A lot of collaborations with different foreign countries or abroad are there, especially with Japan. So you can have some facilities, you can have some research facilities, you can easily go to abroad and placement facilities are also there because Hyderabad is a very good city. So easily you can have that opportunity. Okay, so after IIT Hyderabad, you should choose IIT Indore. Then anything you just need to choose. Okay, then you can choose IIT Gandhinagar, you can choose IIT Patna, you can choose IIT anything so then nothing matters right but don't uh, according to me don't choose iit dhanbad because over there you won't face you won't get the professors okay of your choice it, over there i have checked the uh, just inorganic chemistry or catalyst slice sub like subjects are there the professors are all, almost every professors are from uh, most of the professors are from inorganic chemistry so if you are interested in physical chemistry or if you want to learn everything in chemistry then I think that will, there will be problem. Okay, but uh, that's why choose IIT Dhanabad in the last. 
then it, the other IITs, the old, new IITs, very new IITs. So you can choose anything. Nothing matters. Okay. Uh, just do one thing. Uh, choose like in that way so that uh, that IIT should be in your uh, at your home. Okay, at your home state. Okay. So choose that is that's way. So first ten IITs you can choose in this way. That is Bombay, Kanpur, then Delhi, Kharagpur, and Madras. Anything. Okay. Yeah, so you can choose in alternative way also. Okay. Six IIT Guwahati. Sorry, IIT Durki. 7 IIT Guwahati, then Hyderabad, then Indore, then Gandhinagar, then Patna, then whatever you want. Okay, based on your home state. So this should be my choice if I was a JAM IIT JAM 2020 chemistry candidate. Okay, I am talking about chemistry. Okay, so I hope that this video, this very simple video will help you when you will fill your application form and I will make another video when uh, the application form will be released so that you can uh, fill the application form from your home. Okay, because you can't go to outside, go to internet cafe to fill up your application form. So I will make another video. I will show you step by step procedure how to fill up the application form and you can fill up that form from your mobile phone also. So I have filled my form whenever I was applying for the IIT jam examination from first to last. I filled up that form from my mobile phone. Okay, I don't uh, had, I didn't have my laptop at the time. So I fill everything from mobile phone. So you can also fill your form from the mobile phone. Okay. So that's all about this video. Stay tuned. Keep watching and keep following. And thank you. Thanks for watching.